everybody. I'm going to go ahead and make my crock pot shrimp gumbo. And for that, I need the instructions because, as you can see, there's so much ingredients in it. We're going to go ahead and add rice, flour, uh, zesty and spicy Hunts sauce, some diced basil and garlic, oregano, um, tomatoes, some mushrooms, black pepper, minced garlic, vegetable oil, two packages of hot Italian sausage, three onions, and four nice and colorful bell peppers. Okay, um, once I go ahead and chop all this up and get it ready, I'll tell you how much is going to go in there. Um, and we're going to make a nice hearty crock pot shrimp gumbo. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, in a small saucepan, I'm going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of oil. That's one, two, and three. Good enough. Now, I'm um, warming it up. And I have three tablespoons of flour that I'm going to put in there in a second. Okay, as I'm warming this up, the instructions say to stir in um, and combine the oil and the flour and over medium heat. So put it down a little bit. And when you do it, you're going to go ahead and mix. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes of mixing, and once it turns brownish, goldish brown, it'll be done, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. No sense you hanging around to that, so I'll be back with you. Okay, as you can see, it heated up. I have to do this for five minutes, so I just wanted to let you see you let it go ahead and simmer like that, and you have to constantly stir it up. Okay, be back with you in a minute. Okay, folks, I had it on there just about five minutes, and you can kind of see the color changed on it. And it was on the medium heat. I'm going to turn it down. And that's, that's about it. It's done. So I'm going to take it off this, move it over here, and I'm going to continue with the rest. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and mix everything in. got my crock pot and all my ingredients over here cut nice and colorful. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to mix all this in there. I'm going to take the hot Italian sausage and I'm going to put that on the bottom. The reason for that is, and you notice I cut them up into small bite-sized pieces. You could even cut them smaller, but that's, that's fine for me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the smaller stuff first. I'm going to take my onions. Um, because of all this, I want to um, go ahead and bake down. It's going to look like a lot in there, and it is, but once it bakes down, the size of everything gets, you know, really smaller. So here's the onions. Doesn't matter what order. Bell peppers. And it's a col colorful array of bell peppers, I'll tell you that. Um, yowza, that all looks good. Looks like it's not going to fit, but it will. Okay, here's my sauce. I'm just going to take the sauce and pour it. I put the sauce in last so it kind of falls down through it when it bakes. Or, I guess you call it bacon. It's not bacon, a crock pot when it heats up. And here's the rest of the sauce. This is your diced sauce. Um, and once again, that will all drip down. And this is the diced basil, garlic, and oregano. And basically, this is good stuff. And you put that in there with the Hunts zesty and spicy. Wow, that sets off a flavor. And I'll take the mushrooms and I'll put that on top. Of course, the way it is there, I can't put the cover on. So you kind of 
make sure you just kind of pat it down a little bit. Um, don't worry, it'll just bake down and then it won't look all this bad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the flour in that I made before. And, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. You can put this on the bottom or you can put it on the top. It's still, after a while, you're going to mix it all up. It does the same thing. I ain't found a difference in it. So, I'll just make sure all of it comes in here nicely. Okay, so that's on there. Now, pretty much, I have everything on here nice and neat. Of course, you get a little couple of spills. Just wipe it up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And I like to go ahead and put it on high. So, put it on, rotate around six hours high. And that should. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in some black pepper. I'll just scoot one out and there's a teaspoon. The recipe is online so you can follow it. Um, I don't need to tell you all the recipes. And some cayenne pepper. Black pepper and then cayenne pepper. But I'll tell you what, don't put a lot of this. I do half. If you put a full in there, boy, I did that once and you'll know it. So basically, I just take a half. And it doesn't seem like much, but boy, when, when it's done, this flavor's in there. And you'll know you put it in, that's for sure. So anyway, these two ingredients are in. Everything's in there. I'm going to take the cover, and I'm going to set it on. And as you can see, everything fit perfectly. It didn't look like it was going to fit, but all that stuff I had here fit in here. And now, I have the crock pot on high. It's going to go for six hours. Once the six hours happens, this will be baked down, and I'll move it around a couple times and stir it so it's all in there nice and good, but that's after it bakes down for a while. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in a cup and a half of water, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my rice. But this is the last step. That stays, um, that's at the end. And once I put in the rice and the water, I go ahead and add as much shrimp as I want, in this case, I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use like two pounds of shrimp in there, a couple big baggies, uh, until this is, you know, overflowing. And then once it's all stirred up and it's done, ooh, this is going to taste so good. I'll show you it when it's done and what the progress is going to be. Anyways, go online to shrimpandfishflorida.com in our recipe section. I have this recipe posted. I went ahead and had this recipe for a long time. And each time I made it in the beginning, I recreated it and added different spices, sometimes too much, sometimes too little. But I feel that the recipe I have now, every time I cook it, it comes out so good. It's mouth-watering. So if you really want a good recipe and try something new for your shrimp, go ahead and go on shrimp, shrimpandfishflorida.com. Go to our uh, free online forum. We have a recipe section with lots of of recipes for shrimp not only this I mean just all different ways but this shrimp gumbo it's not a complicated recipe but there's a lot of ingredients in there and this looks like a nice healthy meal with everything that's in there so again once again this is Sam from shrimpandfishflorida.com um, I'll be back with you and let you know what the progress is okay as you can see it's starting to cook down nice and colorful everything's getting a little softer it's cooking it's hot um, I'm just kind of stirring it turning it over get the bottom on the top and that way things shift around a little bit but it's doing what it's supposed to do nice and colorful isn't it wow looking really good okay so once again it's cooking down you can see it's lower than before I'll go ahead and put the top back on and I'll leave it for about another hour or so and come back and check it. Okay, as you can see, it's boiling. That means it's hot. Look, everything's melted down. Um, just about ready for the rice and the shrimp. So, what I'm going to do, look at that, it looks beautiful, don't it? That's real nice. Wow ready I can probably eat this now but so anyway that's ready and as you can see over here I went ahead and put some shrimp 
took some shrimp out. Here's my shrimp, some nice size ones. And as soon as these thaw out, I'm going to go ahead and deshell them. And this is the way you deshell them. You use a deveiner, you just slip it through, kind of do this, and the shell comes off of the shrimp. So I'm going to go ahead and do all these up, let them thaw out a little bit more, just like that, and I'll get all those done. And when those are done, i got a good amount over there, then I'm going to put them in here. So for now, I'm going to measure out my rice and the water and put it in and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put in a one and a half cups, oh, a little dab more, one and a half cups of water and I'm going to put in two cups of rice. There's one cup. Okay, here's two cups of rice. Now, as soon as I'm done with that shrimp over there, as soon as I'm done cleaning it, I'm going to put the, um, the shrimp in. But for now, I'm just going to let this set. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I peeled the shrimp and we're going to put it in. And basically I got probably three pounds of good sized shrimp over here. We'll just put it in. Um, some real nice size ones in here. I mean these are nice shrimp. Um, okay, here's all the shrimp. I'm just going to go ahead and stir it in easy like with the rice and everything. Just get it. When you stir, you don't really stir. You just lift up from the bottom and that just kind of brings everything from the bottom up and everything from the top down. That's it. This is probably ready to eat. I'm just going to let that shrimp simmer in here. And the shrimp will be done and then that would be it once again this is my shrimp gumbo dynamite recipe when this is done I'll do a taste test and that would be the end of the video okay I just tested the shrimp and it seems to be done so basically this is what it looks like um, there's your nice big chunks of shrimp and everything else all mixed in, the rice and all that. Well, I went ahead and took out some nice bell peppers and some other choice pieces in here just to show you. And some juice and stuff. I'll get more in a minute. <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of show you. Here's the shrimp. Real nice size shrimp. I'm going to cut a little piece off. and tender the bell peppers the different types of bell peppers um, they're firm they're not totally soft but they're the right texture so they're not mushy mm. and of course everything else that's in there um, including the Italian sausage and the mushrooms and all that just came out wonderful it's been cooking right around seven hours and everything is done now this here is going to be great to eat tonight and it's going to make a lot of leftovers once again this is Sam from shrimpandfishflorida.com if you would like to see our recipe uh, just come on to our online forum and go down to the recipe section and print it out you'll find out that this is a fabulous way to cook your shrimp. Um, anyways, uh, talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. This is Shrimp Gumbo by Shrimp and Fish Florida.
Enjoy.